friends, what's up? You know, beginners often ask, can I really succeed in trading? And I mean, honestly, I cannot tell you. It's all up to you, but I can tell you when you're about to face plan. And it's the chit chat for today's video. Stay till the end, you won't regret it, promise you. All right, guys, I'm about to make a move and bet that the euro dollar exchange rate is gonna drop a bit. But let's break down why. We can see the charts nudging a resistance level, and boy, it's like a roller coaster right up there. Now, the average true range is a fun little tool that shows the wildness not where it's headed, and I inspired a strong bull run that would crash through that level like a kid on a sugar rush. So, I'm expecting a tiny step back from the line for now. After that, maybe it's moonbound, but let's watch and let's find it out. While we wait for this trade to wrap up pop quiz, when do you think you'd absolutely fail to make a profit trading? First thing that pops in your head, guys, let's make it spicy. Hit pause, drop your thoughts in the comments to this video, and later let's compare the notes. I will close out this move and keep my eyes peeled for the next big thing. Let's crack another option for a drop and dissect why I'm thinking what I'm thinking. Prices hopping, climbing, reach the high end. Now they're backing away like, whoa, we're too close. Let's move a little bit further. Meanwhile, our wild ride is slowing down in the green MACD line just slid past the red one like it's plain tag. All signs pointing to, yeah, you're right, further drop. So, friends, chat down your thoughts. I will give them a road for sure, but at best time, if you are like, no trading during the flat market, news time, or late at night, those are just the tip of the iceberg. The real reasons, oh, they are much, much deeper, guys. Very, very much deeper. More on that later, but now look, our current trade is about to clock out and seven bucks in the pocket. Let's up the game and keep watching this pair. By the way, I've done videos on trading during flat times or when the news is buzzing. So if you miss them, do yourself a favor, go watch, go check them out and let me know what you think about that. There are some tricky parts, but it's all about skills and experience. But there are times when trading is just not gonna work out. So let's dive into those moments today. First up, when you are stuck in doubt, made and can't make a decision about a trade, big red flag. Don't trade if you are hesitating. The best trades, they happen when you take one look at the chart and bam, you know exactly what to do. Like the trades just begging you to take it. It's like, hey, there's some money, just grab it. So this is what you actually need to feel when starting to trade, when starting a trade. If you're doubting, maybe you're still a rookie or maybe your trading system is just giving mixed signals. Just chill out and wait for that. Oh my God, moment. So when you feel that it's time to step into the game. All right, just made a trade betting. The market is going down. The Signs are still there, watching the volatility go down and MACD lines, you see, drifting apart more and more, like last time, close the trade. Our chart's still trying to break that support level and our target, it's a bit of a stretch away. Our chart, if it breaks that support, there's a big runway ahead. Let's see how this plays out and what we get in the result. Moving on. When the market is just not vibrating with your game plan. So without this rule, it's like trying to dance without music. If you are a trend trader, don't get funky trying to play bounces. Just don't do that. You won't like get anything. You know your trading groove, so stick to the rhythm. It's Try it, test it, and brings in the dove. And if the market's playing hard to get, take a break or come back tomorrow, the market is always open for another dance. So 
Skip today, come tomorrow, it's okay. If you feel another no-no, it can be like when you start breaking your own rules, trying to double down, to make up for losses, etc, etc, etc. But let's park that for a sec. Eyes on the chart, guys. We just broke the support level. So I'm placing another downward bet. Like I said, my eyes are on that next target. I bet the drop continues for a few more candles. Let's see if my bet is right. The average true range indicator is showing less volatility. So the coast looks clear. Let's roll with it, peeps. Listen up. Everyone has off days. But after a loss, if you spot a pattern and think, let's double down to move back, hit the brakes. Just hit the brakes. And believe me, it's the best thing that you can do. No matter how perfect a signal looks, trading on a whim, it's a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. Greed will pull you into a money pit and you will regret it. Um, my prediction? is on fire but another trade now that's too risky the chart is almost hit my target so no got 24 dollars in the kitty time to up the ante and hunt for the next golden opportunity opening a trade betting that the british pound music pair will drop this one's like the euro dollar sibling we danced with earlier so let's take a peep here Hey, hey, our chart is kissing that resistance level after a wild party of volatility. Now it's like the chart's got a hangover. Prices are dropping, MACD lines, they just high-fived. There was a tiny hiccup, a small correction, but now it's bouncing off from the middle of the Kelton channel. Bad in the price is gonna trip and fall even more. You know what's like believing unicorns exist? Blind faith in overbought and oversold zones, guys. Some traders put all their marbles into them. In reality, these concepts are as solid as jelly. They bubble based on our beliefs and our wishful thinking of a trend change, but it's just ours. Hold on, party people. Time to hit the pause button. The trade's ready to wrap up. Let's grab our jeans and scout for a new trading adventure. All right, let's roll the dice again. Betting the British pound euro pair is doing down and our chart is creeping up to the resistance level with the enthusiasm of a sloth. So I'm thinking it'll bounce off this strong wall. It's like the fifth candle trying to poke through with its tiny wick but no dice. Low volatility means we just gotta guess where the party is heading next and the trend, see it's going downhill and MACD whispering hands so that turn around with those red histogram bars. You see that? Right. Back to our unicorn zones, also known as overboard and oversold. Trust me, even when indicators seem stuck in them, a powerful trend might keep on rocking. So just shape your trading strategy that gives you extra nudges to make your right trading decisions. Wrapping up the trade, and friends, our pots now reach here by 86 bucks, so let's hop into another pair and dive into fresh water. Placing a bet for a price hike at the lower edge of the Kelton channel, basically going with the flow. Volatility is as low as my energy before coffee, so I doubt the price will smash through this level. Betting it's bounced back like a boomerang. Plus, typically, strong candles like the last red rocket often get countered by the next move, at least halfway. So, let's continue our chit chat today. If there is a way to pour money down the drain, it's by missing your trade entry moment. Worst thing in trading, it's like chasing a boss you miss, trying to chase the price, and jumping in late is no, no. It ever had that like oops should have traded minutes ago feeling if you're itching to catch up might as well pack up your trading desk maybe take a coffee break it's not a moment to enter the trade quick time out folks just close another trade pocketed 162 bucks and shifted them into investments 
let's scout for your money making spot today rolling the dice again betting prices will do i'm that chart prices knocking on resistance door it's right here in case you missed the memo our trusty Matty is showing a red flag signaling a turnaround volatility is off the charts expecting a bounce downwards quick tip if you notice you're missing those trade opening moments maybe your attention spans on vacation in that case hang up your trading head if you're missing constantly Houston, we have a problem either tweak your strategy or wreck it and start fresh remember sometimes it's good to have a relax no strategy at all let's build one subscribe to my telegram channel where i will be your trading yoda links in the description to this video another green tip for us onwards to the next one to fatten our wallet euro aussie dollar pair coming up spotted a golden chance to cash in with a put option Bet my left side of the price is heading south. Let's dissect this chart. That support level clear as day. The chart just punched through it and bam, it also busted through the Kelton channel slower butter. Meg D singing the same song, green lines giving the red one a downward high five, so I only see one way. Down, 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 down. If you got a strategy, that's great, but you'll still blow your cash if you're hopping around time frame charts and making hasty calls. So having one strategy will not help you. Seeing many rookies too eager to make a move just for the thrill. Ooh, hey guys, another green trade in the back. I will stick to my own rules and wait for the next golden moment. Sticking with this pair and pushing on. Every trade you make should follow your game plan. You need to be confident in it from the get-go. If the current market vibe isn't in your playbook, then hold up for a different sign. I get it, waiting can feel like forever, but it's worth it, so chill out, pour yourself a common tea or coffee and be just the episode where wait for the right moment like I'm doing right now. Let's chat about another money drain, constantly copying other signals. I'm not totally against this, especially if you're still getting the hang of things. Heck, I spill the beans on signals and host deposit both smartphones on my Telegram channel all the time. So back to trading just open another short trade eyes on the chart guys it broke through another support level so let's catch that out interestingly the volatility started to drop just as it pierced that level sure it's spiced up a bit now since the price took a nose dive but there was a decrease at that moment and here is the thing when I host these smartphones, it's not just about making you some quick bucks by coping signals. I hope you're actually learning the ropes and up in your game with me. So not just copy paste what other people say, but deep understanding. Otherwise, we'll be forever waiting for a nudge or tip from someone else. And what's your plan when these smartphones are over or on days when they're not happening? See, that's not gonna work, guys. Balance check, we are at $793 Fox. Let's count for another trading opportunity. Trading the Euro and Canadian dollar today, Fox. Batting on the rise, why? Have a look at the chart and all will be revealed. There was a well drop and the price got cozy at a support level, taking its sweet time consolidating. During its approach to the level, volatility went up only to chill a bit on the rebound. Right? Going by the green Mandy bars and seeing the bars hit in the gym. That's why I placed the trade on the rise, hoping the pot value gets wall. Friends, many love to point fingers at brokers, analysts, the padfish, basically everyone but themselves when they face losses. <laughs> no, that's not the way. 
own your choices and carry that responsibility. That's your VIP ticket to success town. Believe me. Our trade is nearly wrapping up and the balance is showing a pretty $1,679. So let's lag in the profit. Opening the chart trade now, Pulse. I'm trading from the upper edge of the Kelton channel at uh, formidable resistance level, just as a heads up. The MACD is hinting at the rise, but it's kind of like that friend who's always late to the party. The growth had its fun and might be leaving the scene. Notice that volatility had its coffee just as the chart touched the channel's upper edge and now it's mellowing out on the rebound. So fingers crossed for a continued downtrend. And let's chat about a classic oops moment in trading. Imagine wanting to end the week on a high note being just one profitable trade away from your dream week. In your frantic search for that golden signal, you might ditch your own goals. And bam, the week wraps up not with a bank, but with your account singing the blues. Yeah, the charts doing a bit of lazy dance, but hey, we're still scoring onwards and upwards, team. All right. I'm opening the trade on the rise. We've got all the signals lighting up like a Christmas tree, so let's dive into the chart for a nitty gritty chat. First up, the chart is breaking through the Keltner channel ceiling. Looking at the MACD, we've got lines crossing like that, doing the tango, and they're just getting started. Volatility is taking a nap as it nears the resistance level, so we are rooting for a rise. And while we're here, let's chat about a sneaky factor most traders overlook. Fine eruptions trading is not just risky, it's like walking a tightrope in a windstorm. It demands your full game and laser focus. Nothing, and I mean nothing, should distract you. Eyes on the chart at all times. Feeling under the weather? Don't trade. Had a spot with your loved one? Don't trade. Otherwise, you might just crash and burn which is not the story today. We're wrapping up with almost $3,240, looking pretty in the balance. Let's rub this beauty in and call it a trading day. Right, Tim, it's a recap time. Remember at the beginning of this video, I asked you a question, when you can absolutely not profit, and right now it's time to compare your answers to mine. So if you're still blaming scales and the moody market, you're missing on the point, and I hope you get it as for now. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like what I do on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to it. Stay tuned in order not to miss out on my new videos and in order not to miss out on new useful information about trading. Thank you so much. Have a happy trading. Bye.